Welcome back to Red Hawk Media. Today we're in After Effects and we're doing a quick once over on sprite animation. Um, in this lesson, we're gonna go ahead, we're going to create an animation. You'll learn a little bit about keyframing. You'll learn about how to pre-compose multiple layers. And then you're also gonna learn a little bit about managing the timeline. Um, this is what you're gonna end up creating. Just a quick animation here. And then um, let's go ahead and get started with this. So first, uh, we're going to create a new composition. Um, we've got all the project files already dragged in, so we're just going to jump to the composition part. Uh, new composition. I can do this a couple ways. Composition, new composition. Or I could come down here to this little icon, click on this, and this will take me into the same exact place. We're just going to keep this a small project, 1920 by 1080. We're going to set the frame rate at 20 and OK. So here's our new comp. We're going to go ahead and start dragging in our layers. Now, initially, we worked on creating the background. Um, so I showed that process yesterday of how you can drag the background layer in there. You may have noticed that since yesterday, and we've already created some of this, you've got some of these layers pre-composed already. And you may have a background that's already set up like this. So I can take that pre-composition and drag that down here, and that's all set up. Same thing for my ground. We have this piece of tile here that's uh, designated to be the ground. I may have that set up too as a pre-composition. You can see that I've got one that's already all the way across the screen. I'm going to go ahead and drag that in above my background. And there we go. That gets us a pretty good quick start. I'm going to lock those layers because I don't want to be moving those around. The next thing is for my first animation. I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the sprites that are needed for that animation. So uh, one of the things that I showed here was GameArt2D. You can grab freebies from that site. Um, the link is in Schoology, so go ahead and hop on over there and take a look at that. I'm going to grab these run animations here just to show this process one more time. I'm going to take them and drag them down into my layers. And then you can see how the timeline is all set up. Now, I don't need all of this time for these animations, I only actually need one frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the zoom function down here and kind of zoom this timeline out so we can see individual frames. And you can see there's one frame and two frames. I'm just gonna go with one frame, make sure all these are selected, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut those. Command, Shift, and D. There we go. Now the part that I don't need is highlighted still. So while it's highlighted, instead of doing a lot of extra work, I'm going to delete that. And now I'm down to one frame for all of those layers. Now you can see all of the sprites are labeled run one, run two, and so on. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stagger these accordingly so that I create that animation. I'm going to go ahead and drag these out. And this will be the first part of my running animation. Now, my knight isn't actually moving anywhere yet, but you can see when I mouse over these, we've got a nice run animation going here. Okay, not too bad. Now, I need this to go long enough so that the knight can actually move from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. So I'm going to repeat this process, but I'm going to do it a little bit more easily. This is the part where we're going to learn about pre-composition. I'm going to take all of these layers, run one, shift, and then click on run 10, select all of them. I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to pre-compose. Now that's going to allow me to rename this. We'll just call this run anim for run animation. And now I've got one easy layer to work with. Now, Here's the thing that I need to keep track of. My running animation happens from frame 0 all the way up to 8. And then when I jump, oh, 0 all the way up to 9. And then when I jump to 10, you can see it disappears. Oh, I'm going to cut that pre-composition off at frame 9 here so that I only am repeating that first part and I'm not showing any empty frames here. So I'm going to go ahead, just like before, I'm going to split this, Command-Shift-D. I'm going to delete the part that I don't need, which is to the right. Delete. And now I can go ahead and start this process of duplicating this over and over to get more time out of it. So I'm going to take this and Command D to duplicate. And then I'm going to slide this over just like before. Then Command D to duplicate. And I'll slide that over. 
Now we can simplify this process again by creating another pre-comp or you continue to just hit Command D and drag these out. I'm going to just do that to keep it easy for right now and we'll drag these out. I'm looking for about three seconds worth of time here. So I'm up to a little bit past two seconds right now. I'm going to hit Command D again, drag that out. And one more should do the trick. And there we go. We've got about three seconds and then some. Okay. Now, I'm going to take all those because that's a lot of layers here to manage. And to be honest, I need him to move from one side to the other. And these are all separate animations going on right now. That'd be really hard to figure out the positioning for. So I'm going to get it down to one object that'll be over here. So I'm going to shift click on these again. I'm going to right click and I'll pre-compose. Now once I'm in here, I'm just going to say that this is the overall running that the knight is doing. And there we go. Now, we know a little bit about keyframing, but a quick once over here. I'm going to start uh, at zero frames, and that's going to be the starting position for the knight. The starting position is actually going to be over here off screen. Now, to do this so that the knight's actually on the ground, I'm going to line up his foot here so it looks like it's actually making contact. And then I'm going to slide him over to the left. If I hold the arrow key, it'll move pretty slowly. If I hold shift and then use the arrow key, you can see I can nudge him over pretty quickly out of the way. Awesome. So this is my starting position. I'm going to keyframe this to be the starting position from here, and then at three seconds, he will be on the other side of the screen. So he'll have run from point A to point B all the way to the other side. So to do that, I want to keyframe the position. And I'm going to keyframe that on the running composition. I'm going to hit P for position. And you will notice that now down in this area that the position shows up. This is my starting position where the knight is currently. And I'm at zero frames right now. I'm going to go ahead and click the stopwatch. So what that did is it created my first keyframe. And so far, this is a starting point. Nothing is going to happen yet until I move my playhead over to the three second mark and now I'm going to take the knight and I'm going to drag him over now I could drag him over but there's a good chance that I won't go level across the screen and he's going to run kind of awkwardly so I'm just going to hold shift and then I'm going to drag or I'm going to click to the right on the right arrow key and I'm going to move him all the way across. You can see that behind him we've got position that's stretching out showing where he's going to move um, start from and where he's going to move to. Okay, And now you will notice that down here I have one keyframe and I have a second keyframe as well. So that's all good. All right, excellent. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like. There he is. Okay, so I can scrub through this just by moving the playhead. If you want to play your composition at any time, just hit the space bar and it will play through. And not too bad. Now, if I want him to go quicker, I can take the keyframe and move it in. And now he will do this more quickly. There we go. He's covering the space a lot faster. If I want him to really rip across the screen here in one second time, zoom. There he goes. Oh, uh, That's how I can control the speed of the animation is by dragging the keyframes. I have total control of that and can move that around. Now, um, if I want him to move to any other places, let's say it's a jump animation or anything like that, let's say at like, uh, you know, two seconds in, okay, we can go ahead and we can take this and bend his path so it looks like he's actually jumping. Now, it's going to be a little awkward with this animation because he's obviously running, but let's say that he was actually running up a hill and then going down the other side, that would make sense. So you can alter this path for the positioning just by adding more keyframes in. If you don't like that, if it doesn't look the way that you want, go ahead, come in here, select that keyframe, delete it out of there, and now we are right back to where we began. Okay, excellent. This is looking awesome. This is a quick preview of what you can do for your um, animation here. It's a quick sprite animation in After Effects, a little pre-composition, a little bit of keyframing, and we are all set. Thanks for joining us again for another episode of Red Hawk Media. Bye.